what do you say to people who say, well, it's because it's a riskier venture? And they're absolutely right. Um, we're taking a film uh, investment out right now, and some of our film in, uh, investment friend, banker, connectors are saying we should offer two types of investment. The first is 50% of the movie. You get your money back, and then you own half of it. The second is you get your money back first, plus 20% of the money you put in, and then you're out. And the idea is it's a little less risky because the cash is coming in, but because it's a little less risky, you only get 20%, which is still a bigger return than you'll get anywhere else. And they think that that's saleable, but from my perspective, from I think probably all of our perspective, it's not different. There's no distribution attached to a movie when we make it, so all that money's risky. So in that, you know, they're going to get repaid in first position if we make a $5 million movie and only $2 million comes in. Those who came in at $2 million plus the 20%, they're taken care of and everybody behind them isn't. We aren't seeing a lot of folks want to jump in at that 20% rate because they just want to roll the dice. Report. Another phrase not to use with your investors, roll the dice. <laughs> Our company's name is Vanishing Angle. <laughs> it, was, it was great until somebody pointed out, like, when you talk to an investor, it sounds like you're making their money disappear and cheat. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, before we open it up to the audience, um, one general question. Um, what of your projects that you're currently working on now are you most excited about? Um, and is there anything that you want to share with the audience, something to look forward to out of your uh, next project? Matt, you want to start it off? Um, I, I don't know. We, we've we kind of have a great year. I, we're very excited. We just wrapped our first independent feature um, that's in post right now. It was ultra low budget, but it was an amazing shoot. Um, we've got another one that we're um, finishing raising the financing for, but we have enough to keep shooting in April, which I wouldn't typically recommend. Like, I would always say raise the whole thing, but it's a unique film with unique circumstances, and allows us to do so. Um, and it's looking like the financing is going to come together by then anyway. Um, and then we've got a couple other projects that we're casting do right now. Do you want to tell us about the project? Like what, oh. who, who's in it or what's it called? So I mean, that one, it's the one in April is called Too Late. It stars John Hawks. Um, it's a film noir. It's five scenes told out of order of him trying to solve the um, death of this girl. And the other mystery is sort of his relationship to the girl. But the kind of unique thing I love about this film is that each scene is being done in one take on 35 millimeter film using a two perf camera which allows you to get a 22 minute take. Which again is why for us there actually is value to continuing to shoot the film because one of the biggest questions people have is our ability to execute it. And we have executed one of them brilliantly. It's a 22 minute steady cam take um, with two steady cam operators that hand off seamlessly in the middle. Um, moves in and out of two bars, both bars are on lighting rigs so that there's never a shadow caused by the steady cam operator. It's like just taking every old school trick in the book and throwing it out and presenting this whole new thing in this world of digital that uh, I think is really impressive. You know, we're gonna have another scene that's, you know, on a techno crane up on a hill with a 500 millimeter zoom with a doubler so we can zoom literally across town, see an actor get in his car, zoom back, continue the scene if that actor drives in real time around the town and arrives at the scene at the end to find the girl dead. So like, I don't know, we love that project, we're really excited. Um, and then we have another uh, project that we're, we're casting right now, we're taking meetings, um, and you know, like everything else, based on that cast, we'll assemble the correct budget for that, because there's different budgets you can make films at. Um, but the goal is to be shooting that one in June in uh, Manhattan, that's called Sam and Amira. It's a great script about, uh, war vet who comes home from the Afghan war, like right on the brink of the economic crisis and kind of is discovering the world's gone crazy and he's the only one sane and everybody thinks he has PTSD, but he doesn't. And he's a normal guy and he actually falls in love with an Iraqi immigrant in the city and it's kind of their love story navigating through this crazy world. Um, we're really excited about that. And then, uh, I don't know, I mean, and then there's other ones that we, we want to do down the line, but it's all gonna, see how things fall together. You know, I mean, you just keep things moving forward because this town is a lot of hurry up and wait. And every actor you go out to takes four weeks to read script and come back. You know, and you have to create that momentum for projects and you have to set start dates and you have to aim for them and you have to figure out a way to make it by then. And so uh, we keep busy. And then on top of that, we have a commercial division and an industrial division to our company that keeps our overhead. And so we're usually doing three or four projects at once.